feel like I'm gonna throw up. What's popping, my life plus family. My name's James Ellington. I'm a two-time Olympic sprinter, three-time world championship competitor. You guys are gonna follow me on my journey with life plus. My uh, training on the road to Tokyo. Real uncut, raw footage. Woo! You'll, you'll probably see me in uh, some pain along the way. This ain't easy, man. Hope you guys enjoy. Sun's just going down now. I'm currently on my way to uh, get some more training done as per usual. So he has pretty much been my main training partner. This is like Hello. this is like my brother. He's very awkward as you can see, he pulls mad faces, he's like a little child. But he's got a good heart and I love him to death. When I crashed, he was there. In 2017 I had a massive road traffic accident. Doctors and people thought I wouldn't walk again, let alone run again. Standing on my own. <laughs> this year, I've made it back to the track, trying to do, which some say is the impossible, um, in terms of making it back to the Olympics. Back on the track, man. Woo. Been doing a lot of training. The start's always been my weakness, so I've been working on it on the start a lot recently. I'm doing hand cleans just below the knee and then I follow the hand cleans up with box jumps. Let's see how much, how much of my juice I've sweated out. The hard work is definitely paying off. But I'm in very good shape at the moment. Tomorrow I've got a uh, time trial. Go! So I've completed the time trial. It wasn't as good as I would have liked. I think I pushed it a little bit too much this week. As you can see, I'm in a, I'm in a bad way. Yesterday actually felt like I was coming down ill, <laughs> which is a usual thing with athletes. It's your body's way of kind of trying to put you on the reserve bench for a little bit. Just come out of Cove Beach, doing some normal stuff for once. Not training today. See, there's loads of nice cars out here. It's Dubai. Look at that. Lovely Rolls Royce. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. No, no, I'd never spend my money on a Rolls Royce. It's way too much money. Crazy. I'm currently in. Sofia in Bulgaria. I'm actually gonna open, open up my first race in the UK. I don't have to quarantine here, which means I can train on the 10th day, then I can fly straight back into the UK. I will be quarantining in my house, but I'll be allowed out to go to training, which is great. Yeah, training's been going great. I've, I've started to really fly. The race was a success. I won, I won the race. Opened up with 10.4 seconds, which I'm in a lot better shape than at the moment, but the conditions weren't great for fast times. First race in four years, competitive race in four years, and my first win, so I'm on track. All right, guys, just finished the... <laughs> they tried to wipe me off all the time on purpose when they know I'm doing a vlog for you good people, you know what I mean? Just finished the session, we've had a good one. This is uh, Luke, my training partner. This is Toby, African Queen, Margaret. And my last race was two weeks ago, 10.5, which isn't the time I want to run, but the race itself was actually good. It's my rest day today. I competed yesterday and um, I ran a season's best um, of 10.39 seconds. It's good, it's good. I'm getting there. So I've got 11 days now until the national champs, so it feels like it's all coming at the right time. I've just finished my last training session before the national championships this weekend the olympic trials as ready as i can be so the next couple of days i'm going to get physio treatment relax get a train up to manchester on uh, thursday and my first heat is on the friday at 2 30 p.m any of you guys that have been following the journey so far and you've been keeping up to date will realize and, and know that I didn't actually make it to the Olympics. I was in good shape, but the season's obviously been up and down in terms of my performances with, performances with races. But on the positive side, I think I've still ranked, end up ranking top 20 in the UK this year, my first year back, which I'll give myself a pat on the back because there's many athletes that aren't out for five years and come back for their first year around that time. So I'll take that as a positive. Next year, there's three major championships. I'm looking forward to it and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the other side. And you're gonna see the real James doing some big things on the world scene. So stay tuned. Good day.